question comes in from Shine Doc 96 Best advice to start a PT business? Um, okay, so I'm gonna answer this from a couple of angles just so that it covers everybody, whether it's a PT business or anyone looking to start their own business in general or someone who wants a side hustle so that they can earn extra income on top of their job and just try and provide as much value as I can on this answer. The truth is the key to any successful business, and again, I'm speaking as somebody that in my, and again, I'll only use myself because your own best experience that three and a half years ago, I was on welfare, social welfare, living with my mom and dad, driving my sister's little shitty Yaris that I didn't know would start every morning to becoming the best selling author, having a number one podcast, having social media following and being able to help and serve thousands of people. That is down to the mindset and attitude of how can I help? You know, if you go into any business or anything with how can I help people? you are going to win. The Zig Ziglar talks on his quote that if you help people get what they want, you can get everything you want. And I live by the law of reciprocity that the more information you give out and the more knowledge you have that you consume yourself, that you can give back to people, you're going to make it. You're going to make it work, whether that's in PT, whether that's in makeup, whether that's in hair. And they're kind of the three that I like to use because they're very saturated markets. There's ones where everybody's a personal trainer, everybody's a makeup artist, everybody has something to do with hair extensions or whatever it is. They're saturated fields, but the truth is, the cream always rises to the top. The best people always make it, and the best people tend to be the people that help the most. You know, there's a reason that Apple is a billion dollar company. More people have iPhones than anything else. There's a reason that Microsoft through the 90s was a billion, worth billions and billions of dollars and was the richest company in the world was because there was a PC in every single home. It was helping people connect. What Apple does is it helps people connect to one another. The apps give people time. They allow you to connect to people on the other side of the world. Technology allows us to do that. So if you find something that allows you to help more people, you are going to make your business work. In the context of personal training, it's gonna be finding your market. Who is it you're trying to serve? You know, Is it the GA player that wants to change their body composition and improve their sporting performance, like the, the, the field that I largely work in? Is it changing you know, Sally or Ginny who's five stone overweight who wants to get their weight down and be healthy so they don't have a heart attack in five years? Who is it that you're trying to help? Who is it you're trying to serve? And then make sure you're putting out content or you're doing connections with people and networking with people where you can help them directly. We are in a time and an age where we are literally a click on a phone away from sending out a message to thousands among thousands of people. There is not a time in history when we've been able to do that. I can go on to my Facebook and I've got a 66 or 67,000 people on my Facebook page, I put up one blog post and it can hit that amount of people within a second. This is the only time in history when that's happened, you know? And there's a case that because of the age we're in, you can approach it from being a consumer and being a producer and then using the best of both worlds to build a personal training business or build a brand or build whatever it is you're trying to do. Consuming the right information. You know, I spoke about it in the, the last question about consuming the right podcast. If you're trying to build a business, you're trying to build a personal training business, you've got two areas of development you need to work on. You need to work on how to run a business, which is your sales, your advertising, your marketing, your business development, all the things that are going to be the lifeblood that if you don't make sales and you don't have customers, and you don't have clients, you can't live. That business is going to die. On the flip side of it, you also have to be an amazing personal trainer. So learning more about nutrition, listening to fitness podcasts, learning more about training techniques, training styles, biomechanics, all the things that are going to help you become a better personal trainer and then merging those two things together because that's what's going to run a successful business as a personal trainer. Be amazing at what you do because the best people always make it. How that looks and the business model may be different. Some people have business models where it's all online. Some people work one-to-one -one with clients. Some people speak. Some people write. Some do a combination of everything. Some people have a business model where they give you a little bit of information and you have to buy the product on the back end. Other people have a model like mine where I give out all free content. I'm like, well, here are my programs. If you want to work with me or come to my program, here they are. If it's something that helps you. But if you don't, here are the videos that may help you going forward. That's my business model. That's an intentional way on the way I want to work. My number one law has always been to help and serve more people. And I wrote it in the book that I want the world to be better because I was here. And from a cheesy and whatever way you want to look at that, that's always been my serving purpose. Making money is important to me, but it's second. And it has always been second. And people that have been following me, and I'm very fortunate, I make a very good living. 
But people that have been following me, you know from my free content, that's very clearly a second. I get a lot of hate on social media, but I've never been called money grab and I've never been pulled or called on that because I'm like, well, I give you all the free content, but here are the programs if you want them. Here's the book if you want it. Here's all these things that I can provide value and help serve because I literally built the model that I had a following and I asked my audience, what do you want? The people that come to my program, I'm like, okay, well, how could this be better? Or the people that message on social media, the reason the GEA Lean Body Program was built was because because I had people ask me, well, is there a way to train that I can change the way that I look and get better on the pitch for, for GEA? I was like, yeah. So I made that program because that's what I wanted when I was 22, 23, 24. Serve your community, find a way to help them, and you're gonna be able to build a business off the back end. After that, then it's just gonna be deciding what business model you wanna do and how you can help your audience more than anybody else because the best people make it in every single field. And I'm not saying putting myself into that bracket, but there are people that are killing it in business, that are killing it in personal training, even though it's a saturated market. But if you're willing to outwork everybody else, you're willing to work harder, you're willing to surround yourself with the right people be that friends or business mentorships or masterminds or whatever that looks like for you and then you're willing to help more people you're going to make it regardless how many other people are doing it focus on your goal the only difference and this is and i've spoke about this on podcasts and i'll bring it back because i'm your own best reference point one of the reasons that i've been able to go from social welfare to bestseller and all these things that I have in three and a half years is I don't really know what anybody else is doing because I'm so focused on my thing. That's literally down with me trying to deal with my own anxiety and my own stress because when I focus on what other people are doing, I get all up in my head and then I can't focus and concentrate and that lends me to not helping enough people. When you're focused on your thing, you end up just staying in your lane, you know, and you're focused on what you're doing. I love the acronym for focus, follow on one course until success. When you're focused on what you're doing and you don't know what fucking Ginny's doing, doing and you don't know what Ben is doing and you don't know what Paul is doing because you're focused on you and you're focused on helping the people that are following you that's when the success comes and all of these things like forcing serendipity making luck happen and luck is when opportunity and preparation meet one another all of these opportunities that happen come from you focusing on what you're doing and helping more people when you do things for money you make bad decisions and the truth is there's people that will come into personal training and come into different businesses and will do it for the money and that's fine again it's a, it's a bit of a harsh reality because in a saturated field you become a commodity and there's a lot less money in personal training if you're a commodity because if you can buy a jar of milk in a, a shop for two euro and you can buy the same jar in another shop for a euro, you're gonna buy the one for a euro. Personal training can be a commodity. However, you change that by helping more people, by building a stronger brand and by not doing things for money. You know, by all means make a living because that is important. And I'm the first one to say that I'm very fortunate to make the living that I make and that money is important to me. I wanna be able to put a roof over my head. I wanna be able to put food in my daughter's mouth and I wanna be able to secure that I never have to worry about paying bills. But that's not number one. Number one is about helping the people that follow me, serving them and doing as much as I can with them. If you come into it with that attitude, you are going to win over the long term there is a reason and again and I don't mean to sound ego and bravado but there is a reason that you're going to that I'm probably going to win in the 20 year game the 40 year game the 50 year game because I know where I'm going to be when I'm 55 I know where I'm going to be when I'm 60 I have that outline I don't know how I'm going to get there but I know where I'm going to be because I'm playing the long game the people that come in and make the decisions for money because you get a thousand euro for this Instagram post or you can do this campaign with whoever for you know two thousand euro if you post a couple of videos and you do all these things that are no near in alignment with your brand but they pay well those people are going to lose those people are going to fall off within three four five six years those people are going to get shown up your fake instagram selfies your people that are on your private jets where they've taken their photo on a private jet and then gone flying on a normal plane which i've seen a lot of the entrepreneur space those people are not going to win. They're not doing it for the right reasons and they never win because when you make decisions for money, you make bad decisions. And I've been there in the past when I was working as a teacher and I did that fear where I worked and did that job out of pure fear. But the end of the day is when you help more people and you do the right thing and you don't make the decisions for money and you're focused on helping people, number one above everything else, I guarantee if you were good at your craft and you spend every day consuming the right things and consuming the right people, reading the right books, watching the right TV shows, listening to the proper podcasts that are making you a better trainer and a better business person, you are going to win. That is the end of, and that is how you run a successful personal training business in my opinion.